Can you hit all those high notes in Jersey Boys? Yeah, I wore my extra tight underpants. Okay. Oh, what a night. Late December back in 63. What a very special time for me. Cause I remember what a night. Oh, what a night. country legend Walter T. Airedale. Let's hear it for him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, so Walter T. What? Nothing. I just feel good. Glad you feel good. Why you feel so good? Because, Terry, I am from the hills of Kentucky. And I ain't never seen so many good-looking women <laughs> with all their teeth. W well, <laughs> hey, I got friends in all places where the whiskey drowns and the player chases my blues away, and I'll be okay. Is she my ride? <laughs> Earlier today, my love, I cut myself shaving, and my face really hurts. Um, can I come over there and put my injured, cut face against your lovely, compassionate shoulder? Then you could take me backstage and put on a nurse's uniform. <laughs> that would help my cut face a lot. Finally, something about health care reform we can all agree on. Now, look, Dougie, uh, the reason I, I brought you here... Dude! Wh what? Hey, did you know there's a lot of people here? Yes. Yeah, what, what are they doing here? Dougie... They they came here for you. Yeah. Wait, they, they came here for me? They did. I swear the stuff's not mine. <laughs> I have a prescription like grandma has glaucoma. Dougie, 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 please, please. They, they came here to watch you entertain them. Oh, entertain them. Yes. Oh. Heaven, you know I love you. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm falling apart. Medic, medic. Oh, no. Rex needs a medic. Can I have a band aid, please? Hey, sexy nurse. I need a bandage. Ow! 
Cage. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a legend who got his start at Harlem's Apollo Theater, Julius. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Is not warm when she's away. In no sunshine, she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, Vicki, thank you much, so much for joining us. Oh, honey, I am glad to be here tonight. Good. So uh, I understand you're from Beverly Hills, and you're very involved in the Hollywood community. So why don't you tell us what you do in Hollywood? Oh, honey, I am an entertainment reporter. I've even won awards. Really? Which awards have you won? The Golden Globes. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of this Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the southern seas Everybody's looking for something That's, that's wonderful. H have you won any other awards? Oh, yes, I've taken home an Oscar. And a Tony. <laughs> and a... Do okay, okay. We get the joke. So was All you need to make this happen is one of these. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I got to go away. Baby, it's cold outside. Just like ice, my love will stop to work. You're beautiful. I started practicing ventriloquism when I was about 10 years old. I checked the book out of my school library on how to be a ventriloquist. And uh, within just a couple of days, I was able to do it. I bought a little puppet. Uh, my mom helped me uh, afford to buy a little puppet from Sears. And uh, I knew by the time I was 11 that I was going to be a professional ventriloquist. That's my only dream. A lot of people ask me if I come up with the, the concept of the puppets or the characters themselves, and every single puppet is different. I might come up with a, a puppet for, for one particular reason. For example, I didn't have a female character in my show, so I created Emma Taylor so that she could do impressions of singers like Etta James and Aretha Franklin. Another character, I came up with the idea of doing a crash test dummy first, and then I decided he should sing songs about cars. So every character is different. My characters absolutely evolve over time, just like human beings do. The original Winston the Impersonating Turtle was someone that I created 
just for America's Got Talent. Uh, what happened with that was I had I, I was doing a Kermit the Frog impression, and the Muppets would not allow me to use an actual Kermit the Frog on America's Got Talent. So I created the idea of a turtle who would do impressions of a frog. Now, at the first, he was just a little puppet that I, w I bought at a toy store, but then I was able to evolve him into a, his very own character that nobody else has and that, that his, is his own. When people come to my live performance, um, they're going to see a show that's going to bring them a lot of laughter. We also have some serious moments, but the main thing that people come to see my show for is to see me do impressions of singers through puppets. It was just an inspiration that I had one time. I, I realized that I can do impressions of singers. I also do uh, ventriloquism, so I just blended the two together and my life has never been the same.